What is the best revenge you ever took on someone? My friend was savagely egged by a bunch of teenagers one Halloween while riding his bike. My car, traveling at 60, was egged from an overpass around the same time and same suburb. My bruised and egg-soaked friend managed to catch the license plate of the offending car and commit it to memory. We were determined to find the offender and months later we came across the Uta parked outside a house one suburb over and started planning our revenge. We bought a dozen eggs and let them sit outside for a couple of months in summer. Late one night we stealthily and strategically egged the shit out of the car. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Was roommates with a guy who had his dad living with us. His dad treated me like his personal maid, making me do his washing, ironing, cook for him. Every time I refused, he would threaten to have me kicked out. I used his toothbrush as a toilet brush and I scrubbed his clean shirts under my armpits after a long day of sweating. Also added his bedroom floor crumbs to his bowl of dinner. When I left, I took his favorite ACDC CD, he played almost every day on max volume and scratched it up. When we were teenagers and getting drunk, one guy ordered a pizza from a public phone to his house and met the delivery guy outside his house, obviously didn't want his parents to know he was drunk. We were walking to a party a few miles away. He was being a dick about not sharing the pizza. He wouldn't give me a slice, even though I had got my older brother to buy the beer. Going through a park, he handed me the box. I opened it and it was empty. I told him go fuck himself and handed the empty box back. He was, no, is a present, it is your box now, and would not take it back. Instead of legally dumping it, I carried it past all the bins and in the middle of the park left it on a big no dumping sign. There was a big anti-litter clampdown and people were getting fined for littering. At the party, he was telling everyone how stupid I was for carrying the box for miles instead of putting in a bin. The look on his face when I reminded him that his name and address was on the box which I left on a no-dumping sign that also said how much you would be fined was priceless. Edit, I think they might have had an account with the pizza place, so it may have been his father's name on the pizza box. My wife hijacked, not hacked, my Facebook when I left myself logged in. She posted a bunch of I love Justin Bieber pictures and shit. The next time she left her Facebook logged in, I left her a subtle message not to fuck with me. Of course, she comes across my computer still logged in and decides to have a little more fun. Posts something else about how I supposedly have a strong affection for the Biebs. Bad move. The next day I find her account still logged in. I changed her relationship status to single. I changed her employer to a well-known local strip club. I posted a photo of Chris Brown, along with the caption, Chris Brown is so hot, he can beat me anytime. I changed her interests to show her interested being interested in women and looking for a relationship. Liked several gay slash lesbian and swinger groups. I made several other devious alterations to her profile and then changed her language preference to German to delay her ability to reverse the changes I made. Very interesting to see the number of co-workers and lesbians that suddenly came out of the woodwork and hit on my wife. Not to mention the messages asking what happened and are you guys okay? The angry phone call I received while at work was amazing. She cursed me for what I did, followed by her admission that she deserved it and it was beyond escalation. She proposed a truce, which I accepted, and I walked into my office the next day a hero, since everyone followed the feud. Turned my wife into a single, lesbian, swinger, stripper, who has a Chris Brown fetish, etc. on Facebook. Her reaction, well done. No retaliation. In 8th grade, the class bitch spread a rumor saying that my best friend and I were lesbian for each other and that I'd contracted head lice from her pubes. Coincidentally, the kids we babysat at the time had a bad case of lice. In a moment of ingenuity, my friend and I swiped a few off their heads and put them in an envelope. The next morning in homeroom, we saw the little cunt asleep on her desk and dumped the lice on her head when no one was looking. They made themselves at home, and she had lice for a month. For lovely weeks of giggling uncontrollably every time we saw her hopelessly scratching her infested head during class.
Payback's a bitch. Was at a huge music festival in Wales. Long story short, some muscle dishabag raver assholes stole all our booze out of our tent and drank the stuff in plain sight while laughing at us all. We confronted them, they denied it. They were much bigger than us and were surrounded by their friends. So next day, they all leave to go to the main venue tents and my mate runs, dives into their tent and disappears for a good 10 minutes. I'm wondering what the hell he's doing, so I walk over and open up the tent, only to find him squatting over a hole he dug in the ground in the middle of their tent, and he's taking the biggest shit I've ever seen, just nonchalantly pooping in this hole. He finishes up, drags the canvas flooring back over this hole. We take a quick look for any booze we can have, but none that we could find, and we walk back to our tent. For the rest of the festival, we can hear these cunts shouting about the ripe smell of shit everywhere, until one of the lad's girlfriend decided to drag the canvas bottom out of the tent and finds the hidden treasure trove of shit. Suffice to say they had pissed off more people than just us, so when they confronted us, all we could do was deny it completely and laugh. Surprised, we didn't get beaten up simply for taking the piss out of the situation like we did. Was a good festival. Chase and status weren't bad, found more booze, used the porter potties from then on. Not me, but my brother has always been one of those evil geniuses thinking 10 steps ahead of everyone else. In kindergarten, he went to a fancy private school and used to get picked on a lot for wearing glasses. The one time he actually fought back in self-defense, he got sent to the principal's office and lost recess privileges for a week. This was in January. He held on to that resentment all year. Fast forward to the last day of school. My brother consumes as many liquids as he possibly can, and then doesn't use the bathroom all day. In the last hour of the day, he sneaks into the principal's office and pees everywhere. We're talking all four walls, floor, and ceiling. Eventually, my brother gets caught. When the principal asked why he did it, he looks him straight in the eyes and says, you pissed me off so I pissed on you. And that's how you get expelled from private school. I had this really bitchy neighbor a few years ago. She and her boyfriend always did random shit to me and my stuff. Once she drew on my car with Sharpie, it was a penis, stole my garbage bins and hid them in her backyard. I've called the police on her many times, but she's got connections there so she was always let off. Then she killed my cat. He was an outdoors cat, and while he was chilling, she fed him rat poison. How do I know? She told me so. Apparently he was agitating her dogs so she killed him. Her dogs were fancy ass, top notch, 10k a piece dogs. They were all show dogs and fucking adorable. So I took all three of them, and gave them to various friends and family members. One is in Canada, one in the UK, and another in Japan. I didn't think I'd get away with it, but she didn't have any of those tracking microchips in her dogs so I literally just took off the collar and they were mine. I moved shortly after that, but apparently she's still looking for them. TLDR, bitchy neighbor killed my cat, so I stole her dogs and scattered them across the world. This is the best I can think of right now. I'm the manager of a local gym in my area. Of course, we have contracts that state you can only cancel your membership for certain reasons and have to pay a small cancellation fee. At most it's like $50. Now being the manager, sometimes I let the cancellation slide if they have a really legitimate reason and let them cancel and just pay the fee. One day last year, this girl came in to cancel. She told me why, and I went over the rules with her again and her other options. She gets really cunty once I tell her the rules because her reason does not really apply to cancel. I was thinking about letting her slide at first, until she started being a royal bitch to me. Instead, I told her nope and made her pay off the remaining 10 months of her contract to cancel. And it was her birthday. TL, DR happy birthday, bitch. One summer I took an Algebra 2 class. During a break me and a classmate played blackjack for cash. One day I was down about $20 bucks, and I paid up. The very next day we played again, but I won my money back and then some. My classmate wouldn't pay up. I was pissed, so I was plotting revenge. I would always have a pack of gum on me, and that bastard would always ask for a piece. I went to the drugstore after class and I purchased a pack of Clorets and a pack of Phenomid gum, laxative gum, because the packaging looked the same. 
I have no idea why that company invented a laxative gum, but I think the lord some crazy bastard did. The next morning, I walked into class snapping gum. Sure enough, he took the bait. He asked me for some gum, and I gave him two pieces. He chewed that gum for about an hour. That asshole also stole a fruit pie from another kid's lunch bag right next to him while still chewing on that gum. He spit out the gum, ripped open the fruit pie, and inhaled it. He leapt up from his seat like frogs in a dynamite pond when and ran out of class, never to return.